Okay. It's your boy Boo, and today we're gonna be leaving the Brick Cave and actually traveling to both Supreme stores in New York. This is a video I make every time I go and visit New York, and this one I think came out really good. We're gonna go to both the Bowery location as well as the Brooklyn location, find out which is better, see what they have in store, and show you guys what I picked up. Drop a like, you enjoy these kind of vlogging videos. I know I don't do them very often. Now I'm just gonna cut right to the chase, so let me take you guys to the stores. I'm gonna do a voiceover of all the shopping, and let's get into it. Here we are in New York. We're gonna head over to the Bowery location first. It's right on the outskirts of the International District. It's also very close to the Lafayette location, the first store Supreme ever opened up. You can see there's tons of tags on the building and everything. And when we first step inside, we have the huge Gons ghost statue. I really love that touch. Here's the board wall. Um, honestly, nothing too crazy on this wall. They did still have the strawberries deck. That was probably the coolest one I saw. They even had some decks from week one still. Over in the bag section, um, we actually did have a lot of mesh bags still in stock. You can see all the green colorways are sold out. Um, the green colorway mesh bags were selling for crazy bread. Maybe I should have ended up buying this green bag pack. I don't even know what the prices are at. I'd imagine it's a bit over retail. We also have this Kermit chair that did release this season. Um, I'm a huge fan of this chair, but it's something like 300 bucks after fees. So I ended up passing on it. Um, but when we look around the store again, we see these Ramelzi huge murals on the wall. Mr. Frequent the store, he has tons of art. Just a really cool dude. Um, he did pass away, RIP to him, but Supreme's done a bunch of collaborations with him since. Let's actually head over to some of the clothes though. Um, we got the sequin polo, denim button ups. Here we have the magazine short sleeve shirt and with the Bernadette Corp button up. We have this Vanson little bicycling zip up, a uh, pretty cool one. I actually really like this cherry button up as well. The sequin polos, I still like this light blue one. I don't know why, I'm a freak. Um, the Gons poem sweaters, these, I was tempted on these, man. I was hoping these would go on sale. I don't believe they ever did though. Um, I really like those, but this Bernadette Corp button up, I was a little tempted. Here's another shot of the magazine and they still had some archive denim in the house, man. This archive denim in hand is incredible. Let me know if you guys bought some of it. If they had had a black color, I might have copped because the colors and just the way they did it, I think it was like a jacquard on it. Like it is such a cool item in hand, I have to say. Um, motion logo parkas. I'm really bummed these motion logo parkas don't have embroidery on the back. But here's the big cop for me, man. We have the perfect season football jersey in yellow. A quick story, I did ask if they had any other colorways of it. They only had this gold color left. These are actually reselling for a lot of money. I was surprised to see any still in store. But here we have like the Umbro jackets. Um, we have some like gradient items behind them. The Umbro jackets are not bad in hand, I will say. Uh, I like these camo prints on these just plain little classic logo shirts, more Bernadette Corp soccer jerseys. Uh, wasn't too big of a fan of this collection, to be honest. That's why the whole collection is fucking sitting. This color, though, the blue, probably my favorite of the bunch. Um, then we also have the long sleeve behind it, which was one of my favorite items from this collection, but it's a pass. Um, here we have some denim. I don't really like this style denim with like the all over logos and prints. A little bizarre for me. Here we have some of the work pants. These plaid work pants are actually on sale right now on Supreme if you wanted them. But let's go over to the hoodies next. Uh, the hoodie section, I'm not crazy about. I didn't think the hoodies were good at all this season. Here we have the Western Cut hoodie, which has a bunch of embroidered layering all over it, which is a cool touch, but those actually also went on sale. A lot of these items actually we're looking at in this video went on sale on the Supreme site. I have to say this Patches hoodie, this is one of my favorite hoodies of the season, but again, went on sale. That backside is really sick though. Let's go look at the t-shirts neck. Let's see what tees they still have in store. This is near the end of the season, so seeing these week one Reaper tees, I was a little surprised. That just goes to show how big stock is. Um, of course, the Tamagotchi shirt sitting. Nobody wants those. That kid shirt is kind of creepy. Um, we have the basketball shirt, whatever the hell it's called. Um, so many Tamagotchi shirts. I don't know why they even made this a t-shirt. More Reaper tees and an Arabic logo. I didn't expect that. I really don't like this brown colorway, but I didn't expect to see any of the Arabic logos in store. Next, we go over the shoes. We do have the Vans dollar bill sign shoes um i i really did not like these man but these western cut boots man story time man oh these i really wanted these clarks boys you guys might have remembered i had to talk myself off the ledge from buying them and i actually ended up getting a pair of these off stock x for way under retail like 50 bucks under retail but they arrived to the stock x facility and got canceled which probably tells me someone wore them once or something i still would have taken them man i'm actually kind of heartbroken but it is so fucking bad i still really like these man i think these could go super hard and fits. I'm sure a lot of you think they're disgusting. Seeing it in person did trigger me a little and I actually didn't quite show this but they even had Air Forces in store. Um, I found this Flames camp cap. I actually ended up buying one the black colorway. Here I am at checkout just looking at the accessories. Um, let me pause it real quick. We have the Bernadette Court basketball. These ended up bricking. I passed. All the Hollywood Trading Co. stuff is still there because the retails on that was just ridiculous. Um, they had that cooking pot from week one still which sold out on the site. I was a little surprised by that seeing a week one item. We have like the little rolling tray 
trays, the clips, the water bottles, a bunch of just regular stuff. Sorry I couldn't get a better shot of the accessory window, but I always feel stupid recording in store. I do my best, you guys, all right? I try, but here we are outside of the store now. You have that huge next straight letter tag on the side of the building. A really famous graffiti artist that passed away. I've, that's always been my favorite feature of this Bowery location, but um, yeah, let's now head over to the Brooklyn store. Starting it off, we got a bike with the Arabic sticker. That's tough, probably one of the workers. Um, the Supreme Step Ladder, as well as all the decks. You can see they don't have the Strawberries deck here. Must have sold out, but also the Weirdo Dave wall. Next, the huge skate bowl in the Brooklyn store. Really cool to see. The lighting setup's pretty nice. Like, the Brooklyn store, it's very empty. I do wish they did something in the middle of the floor. The bowl is definitely a cool touch, and I actually noticed this. There's some little handwritten Gons characters on the side of the bowl. A little Easter egg for the boys, you know. Um, yeah, that sounds cringy. I thought it was cool to see that, though. I had not noticed that before. But as you might have just gotten a little peek of, there were some TNF bags still here. These bags are horrendous. I'm not shocked they were still sitting. Like, the cum stain. No, this is one of the worst TNF designs. As you can see, they, again, don't have the mesh bags. This was recorded, like, two or three days after the Bowery location. Um, they have some canvas backpacks. But I have to say, the clothing selection is so much better in the Brooklyn store. We have my least favorite pant of the season right here. I hate those so freaking much. I am not shot. They actually went on sale, so I knew it. I knew those were bricks from the get-go. More BC Corp garbage. But they had the flame denim shorts, which I almost wish I bought a pair. These zip-ups, though, man. Oh, these actually ended up going on sale. It's good I didn't buy one, but I really am a huge fan of these. Um, I'm not shocked people don't like them. There's not branding. They're a little expensive, but man, I think they are really fucking cool. I actually like the orange a lot. They had the patches button-up shirt. They had this, like, stitched gradient zip-up. I actually thought these were a lot better in hand. Um, I also love these small box sweaters, but I passed on all of those. These metallic button-ups, another item that went on sale, but I actually dig them a lot. The shine on them does kill it for me. They really had a crochet football jersey just sitting there for me, man. They also had the schizo long sleeve. I love the designs on this one, but I passed on that. But let me show you guys some of these other jerseys, like the Ronin jersey, Umbro jersey. A lot of these jerseys did end up going on sale. The Umbro I know for sure did. Um, they even had some Kooji stuff left in this Brooklyn location. Like, I'm telling you guys, there is way more stock, way more selection at this store. If you're visiting New York, I recommend going to this store for cops. Um, the Divine zip-ups, these sold out online. Um, I actually really sick one in hand. The green you can see is not there. It's sold out. Um, the S logos, I believe these released on the TNF week. I might be wrong. The purple one was my favorite, the Overdyed, um, but I passed on it. Another one of my least favorite items that zip up the blue. Terrible. Weirdo Dave hoodies. Um, a lot of stuff we just did not see at the Bowery location. Here's some of the t-shirts. You can see the Ronin t-shirts there. More of the Bernadette Corp shirts. Um, these are so weird to me. I'm not shocked they're sitting. The Ronin shirt though, I did not expect to be sitting like that. If I had not already bought some online, I might have bought one here. But the big cop for me at this location was definitely that crochet jersey. I can't believe they had them. And like a day later after I went to that Brooklyn location, I actually ran in to where Supreme filmed a whole promotional video at this park. And while I was at that park, I even noticed they were putting up a new promo for the Hardy's collection. I took a photo of it, sent it to my boy Drops GG, and like every single one of the Drops pages posted my photo. But let's go back to the Bowery location. This is one of the last days I was here. This was the day of a release. I'll put up the week on the screen. It was a really dead week, so I was kind of bummed. I didn't get to be there for a good drop. But we had the beaded vest, one of my favorite items of the season. I was praying these went on sale, but they did not, unfortunately. I love this item, but it was like, what, $248? Ridiculous prices, bro. I could not believe it. Um, also, these frayed like shorts. I'm a huge fan of them, but again, the retail was outrageous for them, man. Like I, I can't even remember. It was like almost 300 bucks or something. Just ridiculous. These button ups were again really sick. I like the material on that rainbow one. They had these woven bags. Um, the tote bags they still had, but they did not have the shoulder bags, which were actually reselling, which I was bummed on. I thought I was gonna get there in time. I was there at like 12. I was kind of surprised they're already sold out of the shoulder bags. That just goes to show the stock was really small. Um, um, but again, we see these flame denim shorts. I almost wish I bought them, man. I really like these shorts a lot, but I was trying to not spend too much money. I'll show you guys, though, what I ended up picking up. These flame denim shorts are fire, though. I hope they go on sale. I don't think they're going to, though. But then I'm just looking around at the hats and stuff. Here we have, like, the frayed hat, the matching part of the jorts. I, def I actually could see the hat reselling. I don't know if it is or not. But that about does it for the trip. Now let's unbox everything I picked up from the stores. All right, y'all have seen the shopping, though. Let's go over all of the stuff that I actually picked up while I was in New York. We got some cool stuff definitely a lot of variety so let's begin let's start it off with my favorite pickup the supreme crochet knit football jersey you guys know i've been going crazy over these i got a light blue one i recently got a green orange one i just sold for 450 bro i don't know what's going on with these jerseys i mean 
I did tell the boys they were gonna resell, but I definitely did not think for this much. This was actually a double XL and a funny story with this one. I got it in the Brooklyn store, which I noticed had way more like backlog stock of older releases, but I didn't see the size on it initially. And I asked if they had any in medium or large. So I actually wanted to be able to wear it a little bit. I've been selling all these jerseys. I wanted one to keep, but they went back and checked and were like, nah, man, that's the only one we have left on the shelf. And so I look at it, it's a double XL, which is obviously like a W, like that's the best size. And I just asked the worker if they had a medium or a large. I know they don't care about reselling like that but I do feel awkward like very obviously buying something just to flip so I had to try it on in front of them act like oh yeah I can make it work fam this shit looked like a dress on me and I'm like yeah I'll probably just crop it or something it was just so clowning like I swear I was the only person in the store too so all eyes are on me just putting on this entire skirt again I know they don't really give a fuck about reselling like that I just try to be somewhat low-key about it I feel like you can't be too obvious unless it's drop day where they really don't care and I've actually already sold this I'm so jealous of y'all that can go in store all the time I'd make so much more money um so I picked it up for one 48. I ended up selling it for about 270 so like a hundred dollar profit after fees on an item literally just sitting there in store. That wasn't the only thing I got in the Brooklyn store. I actually also got this military bag. When I went up to actually buy that crochet jersey, I noticed, damn, they still got some of these Gons bags left. And this print was the first colorway, I believe, to sell out of all the bags. They aren't going for crazy profit right now. I think it's at like 80 something. Its retail was like 58 or something like that. There's not a lot of money to be made there, but you guys, if you know Supreme bags, you just gotta hold on to them. Prices will continue to increase. And I really do think this Gons print is special. A lot of Gons items age super nicely over time. We've never seen a printed bag like this. So yeah, I have two really solid pickups there. Let's show you guys some other stuff. As much as I was hyped up the Brooklyn location, Bowery had some gems as well. This was the big one, man. That was super Super stoked on another one of these perfect season football jerseys this gold colorway is definitely my least favorite but I've now gotten every single color of this jersey just like that crochet football jersey you guys have picked up on a trend here buy every football jersey you can from Supreme same with hockey jerseys I'm always telling you all this these are selling for somewhere in the 200s I can't remember where um, retail was 138 such a good price worker actually had one of these on I was hoping they had one of the other colorways I do think those colors are better but I mean this gold one's performing really nicely as well kind of surprised those were still sitting in store to be honest but then i also just took a chance on this flame jacquard camp cap i just saw the black one sitting there it's been doing pretty well on stock x and we all know the camp caps again age really nicely over time now that i've satisfied the supreme boys though i gotta show to y'all a couple just little thrift pickups as well i was thrifting out there too this was definitely the coolest thing i got there by far this ford belt um big ford emblem they have like embroidery of the dealership in white which i think is such a sick touch to the ford buckle belt some of you are probably like boone what the fuck are you doing but if y'all know me i love the ford logo I love the fuck logo. Seeing this, I just felt like I had to grab it. I think it was 40 bucks. I'm actually a really big fan of it, man. This is actually probably my favorite thing I got out in New York. We got actually a vintage Walmart short sleeve button up. I'm a really big fan of this one. I really like the plaid on it. I was wearing it a ton out in New York. Um, I got this out of L Train Vintage in Brooklyn, a really good spot to go to if you're out in Brooklyn. I forgot to say, for that belt, it was called Stella something. I'll put the name up of that thrift. Definitely the best thrift store I've ever been to in New York. And I've never heard anyone ever talk about it ever, which blows my mind because it was huge humongous like that was such a sick thrift um i'm definitely putting you guys on giving you that name definitely hit it up if you're in new york or around brooklyn but then i also got one other thing from the l train vintage and it's just another kind of basic uh button up flannel you can just see man i love my light blue this also has little hits of olive in it um nothing crazy but i got both of these for about five bucks each which is always solid for a flannel that i don't know you're actually gonna wear that does it for all my pickups let me know how y'all thought i did sorry it took me a little bit to get this video edited and finished for y'all i've been traveling a shitload i probably just got back from vegas when you're watching this and i hope you guys enjoy just seeing in store it always is kind of funny uh, recording in there people are always giving me weird looks but i do it for my people man so yeah it's been your boy boone i'll see y'all in the next one i'm out peace